Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Mari. I was told in the comments that the two hardest stages in this game of the original eight are Aiding Stage and Yomu's Stage. Now, I had a fight with Aiding Stage, though it went a lot easier when I played it for all of you. Yomu's Stage also gave me a fight. I suppose this is going to be teaching me just a little bit about how the castle's gonna go. But next up is Yomu Konpaku of Haku Gyokuro. If she spots me, I'm at risk of being cut down. And I suppose the difference between Aiden and Yomu in here is Aiden's boss fight wasn't bad. The stage was. With Yomu, it's all bad. Now, at the very beginning, um, there's really a lot of what this stage is, and this stage is going to take me a, a fair amount of time to beat, because you've got to take it so slowly. And so we see the Shinigami who wants to ferry us across the river Styx. And she's already fallen asleep. Heck yeah, I actually killed that dark purple one. That dark purple one takes so many hits that, like, it's not even funny. Oh, crap. You know what would be a good idea right now? This... I'm eventually going to give up and start using... Uh, you know what, I'm just going to do it now. Just let me kill some of these frickin' purple ones! And... Good, good time for that again. Crap! Did I make it? Oh, thank heavens. I've never had that much trouble getting across that pit before. I don't know what the problem was. Of course, it'd be super keen if this, like, beam would actually hit these guys. And I could most certainly use some life after that mess. And now for the other fun part of the level. Actually, I'm probably going to be Alice for most of this section. I'm going to be Alice for most of this section because, again, this is where you just have to take it crazy slow. Because the second I run ahead a little bit... ...is the second, like, a hundred enemies spawn. And then I have a bad day. This section isn't as bad as the other one, especially coming in with Alice, so you can hit the jumpy guys. Though it'd be super cool if the laser would actually hit them, I mean, I'm not hearing the effect from it. Oh, I will take that crap, though. You know what? Let's just stay as Marissa to kill these frickin' flames. Let's do that noise. Mostly staying as Alice to take care of the... the little duders that you can only, like, see half of. Because with Marissa, you have to line up a shot almost pixel perfect. Whereas with Alice, all you have to do is kind of, like sweep over them. 
Okay, I see the... I hear the top of the screen, and by here I mean... not here. Why oh, can't I hit them? What crap? Okay, now for the rough part. Crap! Son of a gun! Now they're all gonna respawn. Okay, I figured out a decent way to take care of this. But what I have to do is jump and not just stand there like a loon. And then you walk to the left and you die. Get dang it. Actually, I think for the most part I can stay in the. Just stay here. Alright, we're good. There we go. Now I can kill you just like normal. Okay, so safe is there. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Now this is the staircase where you just want to take it slow as molasses. Mostly because so many of these fairies show up that it's just very hard to deal with. Like, I don't have a decent weapon for them. I'm gonna have to try to hit them with this. Um, I could potentially hit them with the homing amulet, but it takes like four shots with that to actually kill one of them. I'm gonna wait for you to move. Especially when they're all, like, so high up that there's not a lot I can do about it. Like, if I rush ahead some, I'm just going to spawn, like, a hundred more people. Thank you. And those bouncing duders are still the worst. Frickin' hit him! Come on! Some enemies respawn, too, but not all, not all of them, but some do. Just enough to be irritating. And of course, once they get on your hitbox... Once they're inside your hitbox, you can't hit them at all, which is BS, because then they can just kind of grope me for a while, and there's not a lot I can do about it. Son of a gun. Okay, just have to time it so I hit them when they're near the ground. Ah, crap. And I jumped into that one. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm killing things is what I'm doing. I got impatient, took some hits. So far, I'm still doing alright, though. Of course, there's a yin yang orb right there. Son of a gun, why can't I hit you? Hit her! I don't got all day! Ah. Uh... Son of a gun, not that one! That one! Oh, crap. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... All of you can die. And then I can move on just a little more slowly. This is uh, one of the chief parts in the game where I really wish I had gotten um, Marissa's butterfly weapon instead of Alice's. Because instead of the shield, Marissa's butterfly weapon is kind of like the air shooter from Mega Man 2. It's a whole bunch of things that like arc out in front of you. It's a huge wave and is really good for hitting things up a slight incline. And like I could just wreck those guys immediately with it. I mean I guess I can wreck them with that too. And I'm getting hit unnecessarily. 
because I have to move just a little bit further ahead. Okay, I see the top of the screen, though. We're good. Oh, thank heavens. Not quite it, though. There's a couple enemies hidden over here. And that brings us to Yomu. Yomu is rough. Let me just put it that way. Um, I'm going to go in as Alice, because a lot of Yomu's attacks actually put up a barrier that you can't shoot through. Um, Yomu's weakness is Sakuya's weapon, which we got last time. I haven't shown it off yet. You'll see what it is. Yomu's weakness being that, though, but it doesn't kill her entirely. And most of the regular eight bosses, I shouldn't say most of, um, the regular eight bosses all have a desperation move. When their HP gets below a certain point, they start doing another crazy powerful attack. I'm going to save the weakness for the end of the fight. Since it puts up a barrier you can't shoot through most of the time, I'm going to start with Alice and just kind of hope a little. Alice is at full life. I've got two lives. Let's see what happens. Okay, so far we're going all right-ish. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Hey, you cut that crap out this instant. Um, okay, Alice is low enough. I kind of want to do something else. I don't want to go straight up Marissa, but, like, it's really hard to hit her with. You know what? That should be enough. Time Stopper! Yeah! And then the one to take Yomu's weapon is... Alice. I think I had enough energy for one more Time Stopper, so I probably could have done that a little bit sooner. Actually, it wasn't Time Stopper. Um, the move was Thousand Knives! And for that, you get two nice things. A slightly awesome Shanghai doll. Only slightly. I'm super pumped, though, because that went so well compared to how angry I got when I was practicing. But um, the, what was the one, Rolling Slash or some such is really crazy powerful weapon. Um, takes very little energy, but it's really close range. Good weapon, though. And then the slightly awesome Shanghai doll, we'll see next time. It's, it's nice. It's not fantastic, but it's nice. So until next time, everyone, I wonder who we're going to fight next.